Hey guys, welcome to episode number 326. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. And today, I wanted to share with you a little experiment that I did this summer and into the fall uh, with my Daphnia. Now, when I got a culture of Daphnia in, basically what I did was I kept some inside and I threw some outside here in this little uh, uh, Rubbermaid tote bin. Uh, I probably put a gallon of water in there. The rest of it in there is just rain water. And as you can see, there's leaves and sticks and dead bugs and everything else in there as well. And I just put a little bit of chlorella algae uh, in there to kind of start the culture. And I haven't touched it since. I haven't done a water change. I haven't added any additional types of food. I've just kind of let this thing go. I put a few Daphnia in there to start with and essentially this thing has been out here in the baking sun. It's been out here in the middle of rainstorms. Uh, it got down to 20 degrees last night and as you can see as we get closer the Daphnia are still in here. If you can look in that corner the Daphnia are still in here and they're still swimming around. But I think, uh, you know, it's about the end of the experiment here. If I leave them out here any longer and if the temperature um, gets down any lower and this water freezes over on the top, um, those Daphnia will probably go into hibernation mode. And, um, you know, because this is just a couple inches deep, obviously in the middle of winter it would freeze solid and uh, any of the uh, the Daphnia eggs or whatnot would probably not survive that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take my bucket here, I'll dump the contents of this tub into the bucket, bring it inside and uh, keep them over winter and then next year in the springtime what I'll probably do is set up a larger culture, a more long-term culture and maybe I'll put that somewhere in the backyard. And as you can see here, this is why I haven't been making videos over the last week. I've been doing quite a bit of landscaping here in the backyard. We've taken quite a few trees down. And right up in there, in the canopy, is kind of the, the space that we've made. So I've talked about wanting to garden. I've talked about wanting to do aquaponics. And uh, obviously having a larger Daphnia culture outdoors would be great as well. And this additional sunlight is definitely going to help with that. So I might put a larger um, tub of Daphnia somewhere out at the end of the, the lawn there uh, at the beginning of the woods. I'll just have to place it somewhere that's going to get enough sunlight to maintain the uh, algae culture uh, that you see right here. And hopefully I don't get a whole lot of mosquitoes uh, in the process. But I set this up uh, after the big mosquito boom in the spring and I haven't seen a single mosquito um, in this bucket for the latter part of the summer and all of the fall. So anyways guys, that's the ghetto Daphnia culture. Uh, again, I'll zoom in here on the corner and you can see that this population is still kicking Which is pretty amazing considering there was frost on the windows this morning. So anyways guys Hope you enjoyed Hope you learned a little something and I'll see you guys later